fasting from social media. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday. New videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And in honor of this joyous occasion, Rising to Be, my online stationery store, will be starting our Black Friday sale early. Starting today, use code BLACK50 for 50% off the entire store. Save on our most popular products like our hourly scheduler planner, our meal planner, and of course our goal setting workbook, only at RisingToBe.com. Now, let's get started with the episode. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Rising to Be Show. The only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be. Helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired so that you can reach your goals. I upload new videos and podcasts every single week, so be sure to subscribe as a riser so that you won't miss anything. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at risingabee.com. And last but not least, this episode would not be possible without the support of our Rising to Be patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. Hello everyone and welcome to Rising to Be, where I help you rise to be who you want to be. Helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. And in today's video, we're going to be planning in my Faith Happy Planner for the month of November. And be sure to check out my uh, my other main channel, Rising to Be, where I post productivity videos every single Wednesday. And be sure to subscribe here so you won't miss any videos because I post planner videos every single Saturday. And of course, if you want behind the scenes, uh, early access content, early access videos, as well as behind the scenes, extra exclusive videos that are only on Patreon, that is on patreon.com forward slash forward slash rising to be. So patreon.com forward slash rising to be. And yeah, what else? And because it's November, we will likely be having our Black Friday sale on rising to where I sell stationary planners and so many other beautiful things so be sure to check me out there on risingabee.com and if there's a discount code you already know it's going to be on the screen so without further ado let's go ahead and get into planning so we have to accomplish this gorgeous divider it just simply says plant dreams and grow a happy life i absolutely adore that and of course a nice little soil bag i really like the the artist's pieces that they make like it's so there's a lot of heart in it, you know? A lot of... Hmm. Like, you can just feel the love that they have added to their art. And it also feels very intentional with what they do. But yeah. I'm not really sure what color scheme I want to do. I think I want to do it like a dark blue to match your jeans. Let's try it. Or maybe I could do this green to match like the plants because I like that color scheme. So let's do that instead. So praise report is going to go here. And then prayers in progress. All right, so that's done. So that I have a smooth and prosperous Black Friday sale. Oh, and of course, if you're on my uh, Patreon, you'll likely even get an, an additional discount via Patreon to save even more. So yeah, check out the Patreon there. But what else? I think that's all I have because Black Friday is like literally the only thing on my mind right now, making sure everything's together and making sure I answer frequently asked questions because it's a very, very busy time. But yeah, I think that's all I have. And of course we have daylight saving time. We'll be having a sale on our time, not time blocking, our hourly planner. And it has like a hundred plus stickers to help you plan out your very best schedule. So be sure to check that out. And of course we have Veterans Day and Thanksgiving, but I don't care about Thanksgiving. I care about Black Friday, I'm a business owner. That's just where my mind is at. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm really liking this green. I think it's a great choice. Okay, so. All right, so now we're just gonna trace around the border. 
And if you're ever curious what supplies I'm using, that will all be linked down below. And if you use any of those links, it helps to support the channel and helps me bring more videos just like this to the channel. So if you want to support, that's a great way to do so. All right, now of course I'm gonna trace around these empty boxes that I have so I'll know which boxes I can go ahead and decorate with stickers once everything is done. Because I like to do my scripture of the day and rank them in the boxes, of course. I'm sure you already know that if you've seen the thumbnail for this video, but yeah. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and find our devotional plans. I think this is a good color to use. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna just write devotional plans over here. And then we're gonna grab our iPad and find some good devotional plans. And I'll be sure to link the devotional plans down below so that you can use it for the month. <sighs> All right, press some plans at the bottom, find plans. And yeah, let's see. Fasting from social media. Okay. I'm definitely down for it. And this is by... Oh Lord, I cannot pronounce her name. Betite Nicole. I already know I butchered her name. But yeah, I'll be sure to link this uh, Bible reading plan down below. Yeah, I believe it's a five day. Yeah, it's a five day plan. And this says Un Unleash Kingdom Relationships. I like that. I'm not sure who this is by, but I'm ready to try it. Oh, yeah, and this is also a five day plan. And since it's they're both five day plans. I'm just gonna keep those two. Hmm. And I wanna do that one for next month. Let me make sure I add this one. Cause that's a 10 day plan. I can't believe the year is already coming to an end. It's just crazy to me. This year has gone by so, so quickly. So, let's see. Ooh, I like this. It says, does forgiving make you a doormat? I really am excited to try that one. All right, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and grab my Bible. So we can go ahead and write my Bible reading plan for the month. Yep, still in John. I forgot what part of John. Let me see. I think John chapter 5, I believe. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. That was a good guess. <laughs> Alright, so John 6. And this is the She Reads Truth, just in case I haven't said it yet. But yeah, it's the She Reads Truth Bible, Christian Standard Bible Translation by Holman. And of course, I'll link this down below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. I highly recommend it. And I just found my Bible of the New Year. So thank you so much for everyone who gave me some pretty good Bible uh, recommendations. But yeah, I ordered it. It's not here yet, but it's definitely on its way. And I think I'm going to do a separate video setting it up for 2023. 
And of course, that'll be early access on Patreon because that's where everything goes. And I'm not really sure what day to post it on YouTube because YouTube kind of penalizes you if you overpost, you know? But yeah, on Patreon, I have free reign there pretty much. Mm -hmm. 25, 29, first John. One, eighteen, twenty. John 9. Oh, I write, I write, I want to write break because since it's the holiday season, I'm taking a three day break for my Bible reading plan instead of a two day, which is Saturday and Sunday. I usually do, but because it's since it's the holiday season, I am very, very busy and I don't want to follow the track of my Bible reading plan, but I know I can at least commit to Monday through Thursday. And even if I do fall behind on those days, it's easier to catch back up from what I've noticed. Because last year, I noticed that I kept stumbling and falling very, very behind in my Bible reading plan on typically like Thursdays and Fridays. But by having that additional day, I feel like it'll be easier for me to catch up if I do fall behind. Just giving myself a bit more grace during the busy holiday season. And especially since I'm likely going to be preparing my new Bible for the new year. And that takes me a bit of time. I didn't prepare my last Bible or the Bible that I'm using this year. I just kind of jumped in because it was so much going on in my life at the time. Oh lord. I think that pen is officially over. Let's see. Mm, 27 through 17. Micah! All right, Crayola, let's go back to my, what is this? I always call this a big pen, but no, it's a Paper Mate Flare Medium Point, of course. But these last incredibly long. And I'll be sure to link all the supplies I'm using down below, just in case you're ever curious. Psalms 118. All right, so let me see. I'm really liking this color, so I'm going to use it for X. X1, Matthew 5, 13 through 
Okay. And it looks like I'm gonna finish in Axe for December. Yeah. And then I just have this little bit of the Bible left to finish, which is so crazy to me, you know? But yeah, so now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and pop these back in the pages, pop these pages back in, and then get to doing our Bible reading plan for the month of November. Okay, so pressing more at the bottom of my app. More and then verse of the day. All right, so it's having a bit of an issue. Verse of the day, scrolling all the way down to the first. Never run out of business cards again with a Popple digital business card that instantly connects us with others, allowing for more connections, more leads, more sales, and sharing your social channels with others and instantly share your contact info with your clients. Share your info with a tap or a scan by networking with Popple's cards, keychains, bracelets, and even add a bit of personality with your own logo. Use the link in the description to save 20% on your order, compatible with Apple and Android devices. A rising to be partner.
All right, my hand officially hurts. <laughs> Let me go ahead and highlight my favorites and read them. I do have to say I like this green in the planner. I think I'm gonna be doing this more often, honestly. With this color scheme, it's really, really nice. All right, my camera stopped recording because I think my memory card was full, but I didn't know. But yeah, I highlighted my favorites. Now let's go ahead and read the ones that I really like. As you can see, I liked a lot of them. I want to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of 30 I didn't highlight, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, let's go ahead and read my faves, which is literally pretty much all of them. For I consider that the suffering ooh, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are worth comparing with the glory that is going to be revealed to us. The Lord is my shepherd, I have what I need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He has rescued us from the domain of the darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their efforts. Give us today our daily bread. Let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. You will keep the mind that is dependent on you in perfect peace, for it is trusting in you. Above all, maintain constant love for one another since love covers a multitude of sins. I sought the land and he answered me and rescued me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant with love. Their faces will never be ashamed. And then we got, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. I really like that scripture. Don't neglect to do what is good and to share. For God is pleased with sacrifices, with such sacrifices. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Happy are those who keep his decrees and seek him uh, with all their heart. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. And there is no rock like our God. Dear friends, let us love one another because love is from God. And everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. And then we have 20. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind so that you may discern what is good, what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take up your yoke, take up my yoke, and learn from me, because I am lowly and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. I will say concerning the Lord, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart celebrates and I give thanks to him with my song. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And then... May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of God, the son he loves. The point is this, the person who sows sparingly, sparingly will also reap sparingly. And the person who sows generously will also reap generously. I love that really really love that, that scripture well those scriptures all right so now that we're done with that let's go ahead and decorate for november our second to last month 
in this planner. I really adored it. I'm not sure what planner I'm going to pick out for 2023. I'm going to say 2022. And then I remembered by looking there. <laughs> Definitely not 2020. 2022 next year. Oh my goodness. Okay, finally got it. And it says, ask, seek, knock. Very, very good. There we go. All right, so what else can I add? And because of this shade of green, it's kind of hard to pick out some really good stickers that won't get distracting. Then this just says, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. And I think that's roomy, it seems. It's kind of hard to read. Sometimes that hand lettering can be a bit tricky to read. All right, this just says, remember evermore, or rejoice evermore. Actually, let me add that to the inner part. And that just, of course, just says shine. And this just says love. Eh, let's put it here. Let me see what else I can add. Uh, and this here just says choose kindness, which I really, really love. It's gorgeous. And this, of course, just says grateful because I am. And I think that's very fitting for Thanksgiving. And this just says walk by faith. All righty. There we go. This here just says give grace, which I adore. Uh, what else? Nah, I'm gonna save that for my Bible. Uh, let me see. And this, of course, just says joy. It's just so fitting. Love it. Okay, what else can I add? This just says, say grace. I really love it. But I think that's all I got. And I like that it's, I was kind of able to find stickers that match that deeper green, you know? And it's not too, too busy, which I'm happy about. Oh, let me add something here. Let 
And of course, Joy. Uh, I like it. I like it. It came out very, very nice. Uh, thank you so much for playing with me today. And remember to keep rising and be who you want to be. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for playing with me today. And bye. Oh, and be sure to shop my Black Friday sale in November. It's risingabee.com. And yeah, I'd love to have you as a customer. So thanks so much. And yeah, bye y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Today's comment goes to Lamar Dodson. What a great video. Thanks so much for your comment, Lamar Dodson. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review which tip you'll be using. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers.